Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you. Bitcoin, if you see anything in my comments, please do not click on it about Bitcoin people using my name and my picture trying to act like me. I don't know why they want to do that. If Bitcoin was so great, they wouldn't have to scam people like this. So please do not click on it. I do not believe in cryptocurrency at all in any shape or form. I will never ask you to click on something like that. Y'all, I told you this was, was happen, but a lot of people did not believe me. But I don't just talk to hear myself talking. I know what I'm talking about when I say it. The fourth stimulus check the petition to send to President Biden, remember about four months ago it started, uh, they were collecting all your information and you had to electronically sign the petition. They said at the time when it got to two million signatures, they would send it to the president. Well, right now it sits at a little over 2.5 million signatures. They have not sent it yet and they now say they will send it when it gets to three million y'all i told y'all in the beginning that this was a scam this is a company collecting your information and your email y'all i i have been in e-commerce long enough to know emails a single email that that you can get from someone that's gold to an e-commerce person i mean they can use that email to send you all kinds of stuff in your email Y'all, the, the thing is with a petition, a petition is only as good as the person it's being sent to. If the person that it's being sent to does not care, that's a waste of time and effort. The, the petition has no strength if it's going to a person that just don't care. They see this petition, it comes in as a, an electronic email. They see this as one piece of junk email. And what do you do when you get junk email? You click off of it. You send it to the junk folder. Or you delete it. Or you report it as, as a uh, spam. But if you do what I've been telling you to do all along and write letters to these lawmakers, make your phone calls. See, this is one piece of email, the petition is. But your letters would be tens of thousands of letters flooding their mailbox every day, their physical mailbox. That will have such a more big impact than just one piece of email. Also, the phone numbers, blow them up. They're going to get tired of hearing us if we do this. But one petition, that's one piece of mail to them. You writing your personal letter to them that's going to flood their mailbox. They're going to get tired of it. And they may pay attention. Get your addresses and phone numbers from the description box below this video. Write your letters every day. Make one letter, a generic letter, to all of them. Make copies of it. Send it to all of them. Make your phone calls every day. This will have such a bigger impact than that petition that will never get to the president anyway. This is a company collecting your information. They want that golden email from you. I mean, they started out saying 2 million signatures. Right now it's over 2.5 million. Now they say 3 million and they will send it to the president. That should tell you something right there. Y'all, as grim as it looks, President Biden, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, none of them has indicated that they're for a fourth stimulus check yet. So we don't know really where they stand. We have an idea of where they stand, but we don't really know. We hadn't heard it come out of their mouth yet. But as grim as that sounds, I still believe there will be a fourth stimulus check. 
in the American Families Plan. How much it will be? Have no way of knowing. When will it be? I have no way of knowing. But I do believe there will be a four stimulus check. I am 75% confident in that. My confidence has fallen a little bit, but I'm still very confident that we will eventually get one. It should have been months ago when we needed it. We still need it, but people are suffering way too long, and it's just because they're playing games. The child tax credit. Time is running out for you to make changes at the IRS portal. You need to get in there and let them know if you want monthly checks or a lump sum on your next year's taxes. If you don't let them know, you're going to get a monthly check. And the bad part about the monthly check is if you plan on going back to work and you make a sizable amount of money, you may have to pay this money back. So unless you're a low income earner normally, the monthly checks may not be the best option. If you don't go in and make a decision on your own, they will send you the monthly check starting in July 15th. Joe Biden, his mental state. 57% of the people thinks his mental state is impaired. Uh, and if you watch his interviews or anything with an open mind, you would see where people are coming to that conclusion. I hope they're wrong. I hope his mental state is safe and sound because if they prove that he is incompetent to be president, they can remove him. Then we will have Kamala Harris as president, Nancy Pelosi as vice president. I don't think none of us really wants that. But I did see an interview with him where he was asked a very simple question and he could not answer it. He reached in this breast pocket, pulled out a, a note card. Oh, that's the wrong card. He put it back in, reached in this breast pocket, pulled out another note card and he couldn't read it. He says, I have to try to read what they wrote for me. He is telling us he is not running the show. They are scripting everything for him to say. That is a sign of incompetent. He can't speak for himself. I hope I'm wrong. I hope everyone else is wrong on that because I just don't think our country needs Camilla Harris and Nancy Pelosi running the show. But in fact, they could be already running it. We don't know. Y'all, the COVID vaccine, I'm gonna explain something to you. The Philippine government, the people in the Philippines, if they don't get the COVID vaccine, they're arrested and put in jail until they take the vaccine and they're forcing the vaccine into their body. They're holding them down and giving them the shot. President Joe Biden said, no, he's not going to that extreme and I don't think he should go to that extreme. But he said that he is thinking about sending the National Guard around, knocking on people's doors so they can prove that they have been vaccinated, so they can get a database of everyone that's been vaccinated. They want to know. Well, if you ask me, the, the hospital records, they could, they could pull all of them together and find out who got vaccine. But on the other hand, the way I personally feel about it, People won't be saying, why are they doing this? We got the freedom to choose. Yeah, you got the freedom to choose for you, but you don't have the freedom to choose for your neighbor. And if you come down with COVID from not being vac vaccinated and you spread it to the public, you're putting other people's lives in danger. So yes, I believe everyone should be made get the vaccine. addresses and phone numbers in the description box below to every lawmaker you would want to write to be sure and get those and write those letters make those phone calls it will have such a bigger impact than 
just that one petition which equals one piece of email and will it ever get to the desk of the president probably not the thousand dollar giveaway is getting really close on this channel when we reach a thousand a hundred thousand subscribers I will be giving away a thousand dollars every Sunday I give you an update on that if you didn't see last Sunday's update please go back and watch it and you have to be subscribed to this channel to get the money. Good luck on that. It won't be much longer. I'm thinking maybe two more weeks and we will be giving the money away. You have to be subscribed. Don't unsubscribe if you don't win because we're going right into another $1,000 giveaway after that. Y'all, I love you all. Please comment below what you think about all of this stuff. And let me know if you signed that petition or not. And let me know how much junk email you're getting in your spam folder. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. I love you all. Ciao.